What up, channel? It's 4Play, and this is a little throwback commentary. Um, I hope you enjoy the gameplay. I'm going to describe it first. It's strike, uh, domination. This is old school. I'm talking old as dirt. Um, this is from 2009. It's a throwback video against Head Trauma PCL match, which stands for Pro Circuit Ladder. I'm going to just shit on everybody. Sorry for the language. No, just joking. Um, I just wanted to post COD 4 because I figured you guys would respect it. This is from my point of view. And, yeah. So, we're going to go right into this commentary. This one is actually going to be about... Cod Ghost, my team going into that, what I got planned. You know, I always try to do these little updates every month just because I feel the only way to truly stay active with your channel is to update them with what's going on in your life. And yeah, so I hope that you enjoy the gameplay and let's get right into it. Um, I know in the past couple commentaries, which I got so many good praises on Twitter for that damn commentary. Uh, the, the last one I did where I was talking about, um, I, I think I was just talking about Ghost, new, uh, new, new opportunity, just capture it. I really got a lot of praise from you guys, and that means a lot. I, I don't even know how many tweets I got, so thank you for that. And it was weird because I got all these tweets, and I, I get on there, and I only had like 300 views, but I guess YouTube was pros. I was like, wow, did really like out of 300, 40, 50 people message me? Like, that's a pretty good ratio, but I guess it was frozen. Um, I'm not really sure. But anyway, so going into COD Ghosts, I didn't know what team I was going to commit on. I, I really wasn't sure, you know, and... There's only 108 teams that are competing at that event, so if you didn't make that cut by getting a team pass, don't worry about it, because honestly, I didn't even know if I was going to. It's crazy if you didn't buy a team pass straight off the jump, because um, MLG, I, I don't know why. I think they're trying to limit the amount of people that play on split screen, because there's going to be no one playing on split screen, and it's going to be basically just 108 teams running through that. So you could get matched up against a really good pro team off the jump, or um, a, a team that was put together... To be honest, the success of this tournament is going to be, in my opinion, um, whoever grinds the game from the beginning to, I guess, the end. Not to the end, but towards that tournament in Columbus. Because, really, there's no time to really, really prepare for that game. You know what I mean? Like, that is not enough ample time to put together, in the, uh, like, a solid team. Get your strats 100%. Because the game is going to evolve, you know? The um, the meta of the game will always change, and you kind of need to uh, adapt. But I don't think we're going to give that time any, or the, the game any time to adapt by then, you know. So um, hopefully, those of you that are attending, I get to say what up to you. But hopefully, those of you that are attending, you get a solid team and you get everything going. Um, my opinion to you guys is to ghost over the map. I don't know if you guys know what ghosting is. Uh, ghosting is where you Basically, just start up the game in a custom game over every map, go over rush points. Um, man, I'm, I'm a complete nerd <laughs> when it comes to early game releases, and I can admit that. I'll basically go over a map, and I'll ghost it. I'll go over rush spots, how quick I can get to certain spots before the opposing team. Um, I'll, I'll do like a little land thing with my roommate, and I'll have him help me if I'm prepping for a tournament that's early. Um, this is kind of the old four play. This is the stuff that I used to do, and hopefully I can get back into that. And in this commentary, I actually wanted to talk about um the old me and the new me i guess in black ops 2 I, I i'm not gonna lie to you you know i didn't really have that good of success um compared to a lot of people i did you know what i mean but not compared to my standards 16th at every event for me is not top anything you know what i mean like that that just sucks um placing 16th i won some shitty tournaments you know i'm not gonna call the, the organization or the tournament sites shitty that that were put on but i um I, I just won tournaments that weren't relevant you know what i mean that that just didn't matter so those don't really count all the mlg events and everything like that i didn't place any like i just placed 16th and you know once you're someone like me you're gonna have a lot of haters you know like i know some of you have haters too and i don't mean haters in a sense of oh like they hate your life but i've heard the term washed i've heard the term you suck i've heard i've heard um four plays not good anymore i've i've heard and to be honest, I'm going to tell you a little bit about my career, and um, I'm my own toughest critic. You know what I mean? You, you could say I'm washed. You could say I suck. You could say all of that, but I've never been a top slayer, and I'll just admit it. I have good games where, where I go off. Um, I've never been the type of player that has been on a top five list. I've made a couple top 20 lists before in the past, whether it was COD 4 or MW2, and um, I've never been the type of player that, that's going to get that that crazy recognition because that's not how I play, no, nor do I think I would excel in it. 
Um, I honestly try to be a game changer. I try to be a fucking factor. I'm like, sorry for my language, I just get hyped when I talk. I shouldn't have said that, but I try to be like a factor in gaming, you know what I mean? Like, I wanna make the difference. And sometimes my numbers struggle because of that, and that's 100% honesty. And sometimes I play stupid because I'm trying so hard to be an X factor in a game, and that's what I stand by, you know? Like, whether it's capping a flag, even in this, I don't know if you just saw that, I capped a flag all by myself. Um, Nobody looking over me, spawns were, were middle, I knew that. I capped the flag all by myself just to change the game. Granted, this is domination, and who, who knows the confirmed MLG game types after, like, let's say six months, but um, whether it's Search, you guys watch me in Search, I rush constantly. Um, I just try to be that clutch player, that X Factor that makes a difference in a game, so all the people that call me washed, keep talking, <laughs> you know what I mean, or all the people that call any of the pros washed, like... That, that term is, to me, it, it just, it's never meant anything. You know, my, my whole career, people have said stuff. And when I'm surrounded by pro, like, um, by other pros, like, Stainville, Proofy, um, my whole career, even Sharp, and e even all them, you know, like, and I'm playing, like, an objective support style role, I'm never going to get the crazy amounts of praise. But the only thing that I've done in my career that I'm proud of for myself is win, because that's the only thing that matters to me is winning the game. Um, I don't really care about anything else uh, besides winning. So, hopefully... I can bring over that success and hopefully you guys can you you can learn if you are a slayer and slaying is your thing and you're really good at it then that's awesome uh, i'm never gonna knock you um or anything like that and to be honest i've out slayed my slayers before so you know like yeah, that's gonna happen everyone has their good and bad games but the biggest thing that it comes down to is win win at all cost um don't really worry about all, all all that other stuff you know what i mean like the numbers at the end of the game if i go legitimately three and 30 and my team wins then that's just a great day for me <laughs> you know what i mean granted i'd probably suck at three and 30 let's be honest then you could talk a little shit um but if i go three and 30 but i get the one kill that wins us the game then yet again i'm gonna say sweet you know what i mean i'm gonna say hey guess what <laughs> um but yeah so enough of that just kind of want to give you my opinion on the whole wash thing and the, the I, I just i was in someone's stream the other day and i heard them talking shit not on me um I think I was in Sharp Stream or Moho Stream. One of the old, old codheads like myself, and they're like, oh, this guy's not even good. He's washed. He's this and that. And I've heard people say it to me, or I've heard some of these new pros say, like, oh, the old pros aren't good and stuff like that. And it's like, dude, I've been doing this since you weren't even around. You know what I mean? So it's whatever. Like, maybe I'm not as good as you now because of reaction times and stuff. Maybe I'm just getting too old or something. But um, I've never been the type of player that really cares about all that. So going into whom I'm teaming with, um, I'm on Denial Esports. Um, and that roster consists of myself, Lawless, Complex, and Fatalize. Um, I've been with Fatalize for a little bit now. I wasn't sure if they were going to want me on the team in terms of um, solidifying it. And I'm not going to lie. I was kind of, I don't want to say nervous about it, but um, I, I'm viewing Ghosts as proving grounds. I need to get it going again. You know what I mean? I want to prove to not only people, mainly just myself, that I can compete and I can win. You know what I mean? Yet again, I don't really care too much about... Um, where people rate me, who's the MVP and stuff like that. I just want to win. And that's all I've ever been about is winning. So if you guys want, I'm going to put the their Twitters below. Our coach will be Ray or Frozenade. He's a really good guy. He's one of the most driven people I know um, in terms of management and stuff like that. And just big shout out to Denial in, in general. You know, like paying for flights and hotels and all that crazy stuff. It, it, I'm sure it can get really expensive. I've never had to pay for it myself. Um, I've always been blessed with Envy and other organizations and stuff like that. But you never take an org for granted. And I know there's so many players out there that do. I see them hopping around. They just want all these funding. And it doesn't work like that, you know? Um, I try to be on a team that I want to stick together. And I hope that I can impress my teammates enough to where they're like, yeah, we want four play on this team for a year. And if one of them leave or if someone else, I hope whoever sticks with this core group of people is with me for the long run. So I don't know if you saw that. I want that uh, player card again. If you guys pause it, when I brought up that middle screen, I want that player card again. So if you know what it's called, put it in the comment section below. Um, when I press the, the guide button, I used to have this little blue dude that I love so much, and I can't find him anymore. Um, I also had a pink dove, like a pink and white dove that everyone was like, oh, four player, that's so sick. Where'd you get it? Swear to God, everyone asked me where I got that damn player card. It's the one that I have on my four play envy tag right now. But yeah. So I'm um, trying to think what else. God, this is a throwback video. If you guys want my next video to be caught for, I got one or two more. Actually, I could post uh, the rest of them are all, you know, if they're gone. Unless I start ripping montages off the internet and then talking over them. But, yeah, another thing, my montage is coming out. King Kong, I'm so excited for it. Um, 
after King Kong, I got another one coming out called Holy Grail. And if someone steals that name, then I'm just going to change the name. So don't, come on, don't, don't steal my names. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, that's going to pretty much wrap up this gameplay. If you guys are going to Columbus for COD Ghost, then please dominate. I hope all of you the best. And if you guys are going to not go there but want to compete, then make sure you get to every event that you can. Um, that's going to do it. This is 4Play at Denial Esports, Team Envious, and the 4Play Gang. Until next time, keep dominating your game. Ghost is in like seven days. I'm amped. Peace! What up, 4Play Gang? I hope that you guys enjoyed that throwback gameplay. Um, I never thought I'd put up COD 4. I mean, that's actually good to watch, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. I can do another one if you want. Just put it in the comment section below. As always, video top left, video top right. Definitely check those out. Those are my most recent two commentaries. Favorite, comment, like, subscribe. Get at me on Twitter. Say what up. Interact. That's what this is all about, right? Until next time, take care.